Allora, che pensi tu Davide? Was thanks to David. What do you think? Be careful. <laughs> you want well, an arm rest. I want an arm rest. Yeah. Oop. Oh, horses. Horses, oh great. So the first thing I notice is the mirrors are lower. Right? You, you, you like a lower mirror. I'm sorry, it's 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 one of those things like the armrest. I like the mirrors low so you can look into the corner when you're driving. Right? That whole forward visibility thing. Yeah. The fenders are more pronounced out the front. There's more glare in the windshield because it's leather. Yeah, the uh, miss really missed the uh, Alcantara in the uh, 430 uh, Scuderia. I think ergonomically this is better for me anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, one is I can bring the steering wheel back. The, the 430, the steering wheel wasn't telescopic. But I can get this a little bit nicer, I think. And for use on the street as well, I'll tell you, it's going to be uh, quite something for me to get used to a car that doesn't have the directional signals on the steering wheel. I think it's oh. fantastic. So you don't have to reach for a, a lever. I don't use them anyway, so it's not an issue, <laughs> not an issue for me. <laughs> so how long have you been a BMW owner? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Um, but it's... Uh... It's actually a policeman that told us this. Ah. I was in a string... I was in a, uh, a string of cars. Actually, it wasn't me. Uh, there was a string of cars mm -hmm. going to a track event, mm -hmm. all Porsches, uh -huh. and one cop pulled about 10 people over. And all he did, he gave everyone a ticket mm -hmm. while he gave them a really hard time about how easy it was to get them. <laughs> they all, we all had CB radios back then. Mm -hmm. And he said, you, you, you guys, you're, you're flying up the road using your turn signals for every lane change at night. You know what that looks like from a distance? <laughs> like tracers. <laughs> and then he said, yeah, and you have CB radios. You have one guy go the speed limit, and he drops back. And as soon as you back far enough, just have the guy up front say, radio, it's all clear. And he can go hauling the mail up. <laughs> so. Driving secrets. Yeah, so sorry, I don't use signals much. <laughs> My kids give me a hard time for it. I love signals. Actually, uh, here on the uh, Drain Museum Network YouTube channel, you can see a video that I did about blinker fluid and how important it is to change it because otherwise you have all sorts of blinker issues. But that's another story. That was April 1st, right? Exactly. I saw that one. <laughs> so, what do you think about the uh, sort of the overall feel of this car, the response compared to the 430 Scuderia? As a passenger, I would have thought it was. It felt it would be more lazy than it is. Mm -hmm. I still think it's pretty. It's pretty tight, quick, and nimble. With the 430, because it's so stiff, you'd expect it. Right. I, I, I didn't expect this to be as uh, responsive. If you will. I think Ferrari did a great job of keeping the performance, indeed adding some performance, while making it a lot more user-friendly. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a more comfortable drive. So the fact that it set a fatter, faster lap time than the 430 yeah. is quite nice. I do like the sound of the 430. Still, sorry. <laughs> We'll agree to differ about whether we like tenors or baritones better, but uh, not simply because I'm a baritone. But the <laughs> other maybe, thing... Maybe because. Maybe because. <laughs> <laughs> Never. <laughs> they did change all this a lot compared to the 430. It's also interesting... Uh, Seeing those horses, I have to look it up, but I remember quite memorably that Ferrari introduced some model, it might have been the 430, uh, in North America at a racetrack in New Jersey, 
and they had sort of hundreds of horses come galloping down the track and then the cars driving behind it. It was extremely dramatic. <laughs> and a dual clutch transmission is quite a nice change. Yeah, it makes all the difference. If you're the shifting, shifts are needed. Yeah, the shifts don't have that lag in between. I like this car a lot more than the other car. I take either. <laughs> and why, it's a very funny thing. Why be picky? <laughs> <laughs> the brakes definitely have more bite. Sorry, I keep doing that brake thing to you. No, it's perfect. It's fine. I never get tired of exploring the entire point of the stop go ratio. It's uh, and it also is very interesting too because the improvement in brakes in the last certainly 60 years, but certainly the last 10 years or 20 years, had led to a lot of people doing more sort of point and squirt driving. And to me, that's not the ultimate in, in driving, seeing how hard you can press the accelerator pedal and how hard you can press the brake, rather sort of keeping it all moving all the time, you know? Brakes are the one thing that surprises people the most when they go on a racetrack. Mm. They expect the acceleration, to some degree, they expect the cornering, but they usually do not expect the braking. Now, you prefer the paddles attached to the wheel as opposed to the fixed paddles. Why? Because I can stay on the paddle while I'm driving. Well, these are really long ship. paddles, so the question is... Yeah, but I still have to... Especially when I go down for the uh, upshift. Right. If I'm in a corner, I have to move my hand around. It's a very interesting thing because uh, I always had the same preference. I guess I got used to it in my uh, in my Alpha Julia, which has uh, stationary paddles. And uh, I find that I sort of keep fingers in the position for the paddles as opposed to position for the uh, wheel, which, you know, my... Uh, advanced driving instructor, David Donahue, would probably say, <laughs> Donald, you're a loser. Learn to use the steering wheel and not adapt yourself to the paddles. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> well, maybe I would say that, but not for that reason. <laughs> the 430 Scuderia is certainly an extraordinary accomplishment for any manufacturer. But this 458 Speciale certainly showed how much technology and Ferrari had evolved from 2009 to 2015. And the fact that I'm sure we are not using any at these speeds on these roads of the active aerodynamics that are built into this car make it even more remarkable as far as I'm concerned. And because I'm an old car guy, I like a car that has a feel of the road. And I think this car has that. I don't think you're giving up feel for the road for the for the ride quality of the 430 versus this. It doesn't seem like it's giving up much. I'm slowly becoming a convert to new Ferraris. What next? Porsches? Yeah. <laughs> Only if you want to drive. Oh. Nah, these are nice. I like these. Uh... 